Hi there, fanboys and girls. My name is Dakota. I'm with the Northern Knives, and we're here to discuss the new Om Om from Benchmade. Does it really get you equilibrium with your id and your... Uh, I can't talk today. Kind of Nirvana! Like, Some hmm. joke about Nirvana. Yeah. Let's yeah. make me one with Interacting everything. spiritual oneness. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever wanted nothing? Well, I don't want this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, cool cats and kittens, we are doing the alm today. <laughs> so, uh, when's that gonna be a t shirt for us? <laughs> so, there it is. So, I mean, nothing new to report. It's a side slide OTF. Uh, I, we haven't taken one apart, but. I mean, I bet a ridiculous amount of money that the internal mechanism cannot be all that different. So we brought some stuff out to kind of compare size-wise because it's a little bit of an unorthodox size. It's not quite UTX-70. I mean, I guess in overall length it is, but it's a little heftier. So we bought the Boker USB, which is a fun little, one of the funner letter openers you'll ever have. It's a little quick little sucker. Bought a Trodon because it's, I don't know, and a, U, and a Microtech UTX-70. So as you can kind of see where it falls in the scale of things, what do we think of this? So let's first talk about how much it costs. So it's 324 for black blade, it is $18 cheaper for satin blade, so 306. 306 and 324. 306 and 324. Aircraft aluminum handle. Uh, yep. Yeah, 60-61, not 70-75. Okay. And uh, S30. S30V. Yeah. Okay. Whereas, These are 270. So that one specifically is 280. 280. Uh, this one is for sale in our. This Trodon is for sale in our shop right now for 399. So Trodons are pretty expensive. They always kind of have been. That shouldn't surprise anybody. You could buy an Ultratech for four dollars more. Yes, you can get an Ultratech for for 330 bucks. But yeah. I mean, okay, but that's if you're gonna if you're looking for an Ultratech, you're gonna get an Ultratech. Who is gonna be in the market for an own? Oh. Well, again, well, California compliant. No, 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 no. These are not. They're not. No, oh. no. These aren't. Oh, no, mind. California compliant blades are 1.98 inches, almost industry standard. Okay. This is over that. This is a California compliant blade. Okay. <laughs> they also okay. make. They also did make a California compliant UTX 70s that had blades about that big on them. Okay. That so, sounds hilarious. So, uh, yeah. Stubby. So if you look at the micro, uh, the mini Trodon, which we have a bunch of them upstairs. I don't know why I it's didn't It's almost like a leaf-shaped blade because it it's is. so short. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it has to be it has to be a sub two inch blade to be California legal. So, but, you know. So I, uh, then what's the, my question is, why? Well, uh, well. Marketing? Here's what, well, okay, so if you didn't want this, but uh -huh. you kind of like this overall length okay. and e and you know something kind of small. You're a big Keanu fan. <laughs> Where would you go? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like if you don't want the UTX 70, but you want something with a similar spec sheet, you just for some reason you don't want Microtech. Okay. Where where do you go? There there really isn't any. Everything else is going to be Ultratech size or bigger for the most part. Yeah. Well, I mean, like <clears throat> good example. Um, and I don't know if any of your wives, girlfriends, or significant others do this, but uh, Maybe. bra knife. <coughs> uh, my my bra wife knife. actually keeps a bra, a bra knife? A knife in her bra. Okay, so I could see that. Um, um, my wife carries a true knife. <laughs> my wife do won't the even. Math. My, <laughs> my wife won't even close the folding Kershaw that sits on our windowsill in the kitchen. So in, in the grand scheme of OTFs, it, it, people are going to bitch about 300 bucks for the size. But in the grand scheme of OTFs, let's be honest, it is, this is an outlier because this is even more expensive than the Ultratech, which is larger. So it is, uh, and in fairness, a $330 Ultratech is going to be a base model Ultratech. You're not getting serrations, nope. you're not getting black blade. 310. And you're not getting... Uh, oh, they're down to 310? We sell them for 310. Okay. So and you're also you can not buy an Ultratech. Nickel on internals. Exactly. So there are plenty. I mean, we have ultra techs upstairs right now that are that are past five hundred dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you really, you can get into an ultra tech three ten, three thirty, give or take. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's competing at ultra tech price point, 
but not size-wise, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's gonna be a personal preference thing. It is, I will say, a more usable size than UTX-70 as somebody who has owned a UTX-70. I've owned just about every Microtech out the front that's ever been made. These are perfect to hang from your rear view mirror, but that's about it. Well, see, I used to have, okay. uh, uh, what was the uh, Yagmondo, remember that? Oh yeah, the, yeah, the, the spiral. Yeah, the spiral. Blade. So they used to make a mini, and it was about yeah. that big overall. Yeah. And I used to have one hanging from the rear view mirror of my truck. But the problem is, is every time I would go off road, it would smack against the windshield oh. all the time. <laughs> so I had to end up getting rid of that because it was gonna end up cracking my windshield. But I, uh, I gotta say, I don't like the way the firing mechanism works because you have to be up to like half a millimeter from the <coughs> full extension point before it fires. It does almost it feel like a safety feature. Yeah, it almost, gotta, it almost feels like a safe, yeah, you know, like, like a two stamp or something. Like a, yeah, or like a, like a late fire. But you know what, uh, even with the uh, ramp style of the button and everything, it's very reminiscent of like a mini Tumult. Do you guys remember the Tumult? Mm -hmm. It was originally, I think, brought out under the HK name, uh, built by Benchmade. Yep. Uh, but then it became uh, it became a Benchmade uh, a production knife. But. And then it's offset, which is definitely a little bit different in most of the OPS. No, 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 no every, every Microtech is offset. Yep. Every Microtech is I, offset. I mean, this is much more no, noticeable. Uh, the infidel, well, yeah, the infidel, is infidel, centered. Is, yeah, infidel is centered, yeah. Um, but every, every Microtech is offset. I don't know. I just, I feel like bang for buck is <coughs> not here. You get S30 steel, which is going to be uh, a downgrade like from exactly. anything you can get from Microtech. Microtech uses premium steels well and you don't know what you're going to get but like it's m390 204p l max it's going to be something that's a step up from us that is true no matter which microtech you get you are going to get better steel and Unless no matter what and glass break included in the price and glass break here yeah. yeah although i can't imagine that'll do a whole lot no of that. you'll be banging your side of your hand off the window but uh I, uh, <laughs> I I have more appreciation for it now at the end of this video than I did going into it, just because when you actually sit down and think and rationalize mm -hmm. it out, what you're getting and why it's priced the way it is, you do get. Um, although Microtech's warranty is no slouch, Benchmade's is generally easier to deal with and yep. faster. Um, so you do get at that price, you do get the weight of Benchmade's warranty behind it, which is. Which is value added. Yeah, it is. I think they're, I mean, from my viewpoint, which is probably incorrect, I think they're value added for the uh, warranty. Although should be baked into the price, it should be baked into the profit margin. I agree. And <coughs> I feel That's that... That's what we do. Yeah, and I feel that this is priced incorrectly. And the wrong materials if it was like s90 or or one of the the higher s's or that they normally i mean get. if this if this was s45 i would have very different feelings or, or about it yeah s45 yeah. s90 although um, you know one thing i look something at, just fucking something the the blade and edge geometry is going to be a good slicer though for i mean it's going to be better than say your double edge oh it's going to yo know, for sure you know. a double i mean people always want double edges yeah. they're like ooh, well, double edges it's, like, it's like no yeah. no 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 they don't because they're fat in the middle and the grind geometry is all yeah. off it's they're, a, they're, they're for stabbing they're people things. Yeah. all i got to say is like you have someone coming in they want to get an automatic out the front and they look at the case <coughs> yep. and they see the bench made Oh, right next to UTX-70. They're buying the UTX-70. Well, the UTX-70 has flash. This yeah. it looks fairly generic. And I know the 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 you know there's nothing on the front of this, so of course it would look. But it's the it's the little details. It's the contouring on the side. It's the bright it's the bright flashy colors with the um, the the funky screws. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's. I don't know it if it'll looks... come through, but their cusping is uneven. It's not gonna come through. I know, but like you can see the the ball kind of as it was going through, which is odd for Benchmade oh, because down usually the of it? because their machining's usually pretty fucking spot. Yeah, on. you you can see where the yeah. ball mill. So the ball mill came down and touched in the middle of the scale every time before it made the pass because yep. you can see the line down the middle. I've had problems with that in the past. I, I don't see why they would not just eliminate that and have it come off from the sides. It makes me feel better about my machining. Yeah. <laughs> This was Fred's new design. <coughs> yeah. We don't want to shit on him. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> should we thumbs up or thumbs down it? Thumbs down. Thumbs down. I'm going to give a middle. Like I said, it has merit and midland for I'll, certain I'll applications. Be the, yeah. you know. I'll, I'll be the outlier. I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up. 
I probably won't own one, but I wouldn't shit on someone who bought one. It's not bad. Of course, I'm not a gatekeeper kind of person, so I probably yeah. wouldn't do that anyway, but... No, no. But if you just want to open letters, get a USB. Yeah. I get, or, you know, you know what? Here, get a shootout. Those not are down, fucking that fantastic. Not great. that much different in price. Like, these two are very, very close in price, and this thing murders cardboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just don't have aluminum, which who the fuck cares? No, and this crew wear, yeah, and I don't, and I don't care. I mean, I've don't had, get white. I've had twenty. And I and got I white on centered. purpose, but and I got and I've gotten. Oh my god, it's never failed before. I blame it on you. You short stroked it. Uh, and I got I got it because of crew wear, and I purposely beat the shit out of it because I want to, you know, I want mm -hmm. the experience with crew wear, and I'm very happy with that knife. And for for the money out of pocket. Uh, I'd much rather go with something like that. I'd love like to this. get a blue but one of these. Like, oh, yeah. Well, Crater we had a whole bunch of them, yeah. but these things sell out so, so fast. fast. I think we have one in stock. That's one of the few OTFs I'd actually own. Yeah. I, I've been real happy with it, and, I, and, and I've and i owned 20 Microtechs, and I've been real happy with this. So, I don't know. We'll see. Catch you next time. Bye.